Morning guys, Tuesday the 24th of August. I'm just noticing the, uh, the smell of the freshly mowed um, grass at the park, which is a really lovely smell. It really sort of takes you back as well. You associate, I think, certain memories with certain smells. They're quite evocative. I know that there's been various studies and research that shows how um, it can take you back like really quickly to memories that might be years ago um, in the same way that um, I know I've also heard them say music can as well so another sense been hearing um, the grass I was just talking about the smell sense of um, smell and it, was, it did sort of reminded me of last year um, before we really knew that much about signs and symptoms and what the whole virus thing was about and so on. Um, I do recall, um, I wasn't, I thought at first it was a bit of a cold or whatever else because I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, if you like, knocks off my feet like I know a number of people um, who I knew were. But what I did recall, which I wasn't really in, <laughs> impressed or enjoying, was um, I did for a while lose my um, sense of taste and lost my um, ability to smell. And um, it's it's interesting what we these you know senses that we have. So therefore, it's a given, take for granted, like anything until you haven't got it. It was taken away from you. Um, and I recall um, with the taste as well. I mean, it's been on for a number of weeks where I suddenly really began to realise and appreciate the whole piece about um, tasting, for example, with eating and enjoying it, and to some extent um, smell with food as well. So smells like, you know, warm bread, chips, crumpets, um, yeah, all, all sorts of smells that can really enhance the experience. Um, and I just recall eating because you needed to eat obviously you know it's like you that's our way of having nutrition and giving us fuel in our bodies but it became for a while quite functional quite boring it was like oh you know stick this in my mouth because of but I wasn't really enjoying it and so I think that focus of what the the senses can offer us, in that sense, the taste, which was significant a part of the experience of enjoying the food, um, the smell, which also enhances it, um, being able to, to hear, um, to see, the, the sort of visual experiences, and also to, to touch as well. Um, I know that <clears throat> ability to be able to, you know, for quite a long time, touch each other and hug, um, you know, sort of stroke, being close to, that was all, that's you know, all part of a, a, one of your senses in terms of that ability to touch and that in itself then, I think, means you become a little bit more um, disconnected don't feel so um, empowered, yeah, empowered or nurtured, nurtured, looked after, sort of connection with other people. Um, that in turn can also, to some extent, begin to um, leave you disconnected. I think with other things and in in life as well. So. Yeah, just the, the the importance, the impact, the influence of um, of our of our ability to be able to use um, and experience all our different senses is really vital um, to our actual lived experience and our sense of it. it it really enhances the experience, it adds to it, it contributes to its meaning as well. Um, 
back as well as what we uh, attach it to. Dumbbell. And also the power of um, talking about a sense of, of touch. Um, you know, when you like now having Willow, for a lot of people, um, you know, the ability to be able to stroke and touch and and feel some comfort from um, their their animals is quite soothing. Um, you'll sort of see often um, a lot of people, adults as well as children, may not always feel that um, connected with other people. They may not always feel they're quite bond, but then. Um, you'll see them with animals, and um, and it's like it brings out something in them, some kindness or empathy or some openness, which is always really lovely to see as well. And and that in turn takes you to a, another space about you know what that can offer people in terms of what that learning can bring as well. I know somebody else who she works at a project. Um, she's one of my clients I supervise, and um, she actually um, she's got a, a she's de like creates de and developed a program for um, adults, young adults, and it's um, you know very much a personal development program in essence, which helps people develop, increase confidence, self-esteem. Um, you know life skills but the predominant foundation of it is that um, it's actually based on um, working with horses so the the equine side of it is um, a big part of what helps them to build the confidence and the skills in the process um, and what the being around the horses you know that sense of safety and boundaries and what they need to know what it teaches them it's a big part of their programme. So, yeah, it's just a real reflection on being more aware, more conscious of our senses and perhaps putting on, you know, the sounds or um, consciously creating certain smells, thinking perhaps also about sometimes when we taste and we eat, so especially if you take it for granted, um, we often tend to um, eat quite quickly. So you can be eating as well for the sake of, oh, you're eating because you, you're hungry or, yeah, um, you know, you've got to put some fuel in your body, but you don't necessarily savour it. Um, so that whole thought of slowing your eating process down so you can savour the tastes and the the flavours more and really appreciate what you're eating um, plus it's supposed to be better I think for your digestion um, as well um, I think that's quite important I remember I was doing um, uh, I can't remember what we're doing with now but it was a mindfulness type focus and um, I was doing it's only a couple of minutes it was just a mindfulness with um, a one square of chocolate and it was all about slowing it right down, the smell sticking it by your nose, then on your, your tongue, allowing it to melt, um, to savour the tingling, you know, to, to not start biting into it or um, sucking into it too quickly. And just really slow yourself down and savour it. And now I'm thinking about it as I'm sharing it, I'm thinking that was actually a really lovely experience. So um, it's just reminded me of that, I might do that. Um, again at some point today I certainly need access to a piece of chocolate which I haven't got here <laughs> back home so just think about it today think about what's, what senses you're getting in touch with or connecting with maybe the senses that perhaps you're taking for granted a bit and that you could um, utilise more and bring to life more to really enhance your whole um, lived experience so I'm going to love you and leave you have a really great um, Tuesday tutti frutti touching, tasting thoughtful Tuesday and um, 
we shall see you later guys take care bye